So as you're going through those struggles and your mom seeked help, she asked people to help you. But today we got so many parents that we see the kids are struggling emotionally. They can't handle defeat or setbacks or letdowns or bad grade. But every time those who want to come in and help, the parents intervene. The parents make excuses for them. The parents are standing in the way of them truly learning what it's like to dig down deep and overcome the internal struggle that you said you had to overcome to become the person that you are. How important is it for a parent to step back and let it go? They're afraid to lose control. Okay. And uh, that I found whenever I talk to kids. They're rebelling against what, it, what society has to offer, mm -hmm. and they're not offering a lot to these kids, mm -hmm. which is quite true. And it's the same situation. The society of parents don't want to lose mm -hmm. control. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know what their fear is. Possibly something that they experienced. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I found that when children are involved in the martial arts, they don't go there to find a gentleman or a female that is going to control them. They allow themselves to be taught yeah. Express. rather than controlled. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. And it's the same situation in public schools. I've run into teachers, some who are dedicated, some just want to do the job and go home. There's no dedication. It's my job. I'm going to put this out whether you get it or not. With, with the senses that I've experienced, as we saw this weekend, there is such warmth. We are a family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as a family, we're allowing each other to teach each other. I've learned from you watching you in conversation with Sensei Benny. I've watched your move and I watched his acceptance of what you were saying. And I was very impressed. Thank you. I thought I was the toughest guy in the world when I came back from, came to California from New York. I had trained with Peter Urban, Chinatown oh, Dojo. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, hey, you, there's nothing yeah, anybody yes, can yes, teach me. Yes, I, I, yes, I was trained yes. by the best. Well, one of the people was Sensei Benny. I was introduced to him, and he said, come to my dojo, we play. And I said, I don't play, little yeah, man. Right, 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 right. And I learned so much, and now he's my closest friend in the world. I am honored to be the godfather to his grandson. Well, I'm always ready to learn. But that, it was the martial arts that gave me that, that, that look, that desire. Yeah, yes. I could never learn enough. And I'm here because I'm intrigued yeah. with all the people that come from all over the world. It's something I can learn. And, and I think in closing, you, you, it, it, and you can correct me, I think you just confirmed. And I mean, I cried too because I know God saved me. And you know, I wish my mom could see these moments. You know, because my reason for getting into the martial arts is because I didn't want to own welfare anymore. I didn't like how they treated her because she was handicapped. And nobody knew the values of martial arts, not even me, but it was the only thing that I had that gave me life. Same here. Um, and for it to connect, and for however reason the spirit allowed us to connect like this, I just wish a parent, those parents out there that we're trying to save that next generation, I wish they would let go. I wish they would, you know, we can't make, my mom never made excuses for me. She said, grow up and be a man. You know, take responsibility. Yeah, you probably made a bad choice. Well, you got to deal with the consequences of that bad choice. And that's what made me the man I am right now. And, you know, a true leader will never give up. I think that's where the pain is at. Even when they hurt us, oh, yeah. we still keep coming back. You know, um, and it's a lonely job sometimes just trying to change the change a person. But I guess you, you are a prime example I mean, as I'm talking to you, I'm just thinking of the movies, the things. How could this even be possible? This is not humanly possible for me to be sitting right here talking to you. 
This is all God sent. This, that's why we're family. Yes. 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 <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. Uh, had it not been for God, we wouldn't be yes, here. Sir. Yes, sir. And God led us into the path of martial arts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because, you know, I put the gun in my hand. God didn't. Yes. yes. But God showed me there's another way. Yes. 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 <sighs> and for that child out there right now, and for that parent out there right now, there is another way. We got to let go and let God. When we let go and we let God, they say if God took a, and I will never try to compare to say that I am even at a level of knowledge and wealth that you have, but I can relate to my story only where if he saved me and he saved you and so many others and we are here today, imagine what can happen with you when you have people like us giving you this knowledge. But it's all up to you because the true teacher in the real dojo is inside. For sure.